Hello and welcome to Comic Book Herald's Road to Absolute Carnage. What is Absolute Carnage? It's a Marvel-wide event launching August 2019 by the creative team behind Venom, Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. This is the return of Carnage to the Marvel Universe. As you can gather from the title, it's a bit of an homage to Carnage's most famous Marvel Comics appearance, Maximum Carnage, the crossover throughout Spider-Man comics that ran through the 1990s. If you're unfamiliar, of course, Carnage is a fictional supervillain that debuted in the pages of Amazing Spider-Man way back in, let's see, 1993, I'm going to guess, somewhere in the early 90s. Uh, I was in Amazing Spider-Man, number 361 to number 363 is his big debut, and he is, of course, a character who he uh, sort of spirals out of the craze that began with Venom and the symbiote that uh, runs through the pages again of Spidey. And Carnage is like Venom in terms of being this monstrous, you know, more powerful symbiote than than Spider-Man often can handle, Um, except he is red and black and he his symbiote inhabits the body of a serial killer known as Cletus Cassidy. So how do we get to Absolute Carnage in Marvel Fresh Start? Uh. The 2018 initiative that Marvel kicked off in May 2018. I've got a video here and a a podcast about Marvel Fresh Start Year One in review if you're interested in learning more about that on the Comic Book Herald channel or on Best Comics Ever, the pod. Um, But Marvel Fresh Start leads to the launch of Venom Number 1 by the creative team of Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. It's been a huge hit. Frankly, Cates is one of the definitely the best-selling writers at Marvel right now, and he's doing some really interesting things across a variety of properties. Um, he's done a bunch of miniseries that have lasted five issues, and then he's kind of out. But Venom Number no. 1 is the ongoing series that seems to have the most um, dedicated sort of long picture or long-term planning in terms of a run that he's putting out. And he's doing it with artist Ryan Stegman here, who has worked on – such books as Superior Spider-Man, where he has really proven that he is, I think, one of the best Spidey artists and and one of the better comics artists in the Marvel bullpen. So they've been an extremely effective team on Venom. Uh, The return of Carnage occurs in the pages of Venom. So everything that has happened in Venom to date, and we are approximately 14 issues deep into the series, although only 12 of those uh, are really by, or not are really, are by Cates and Stegman. Those are all Road to Carnage type books. And I've got up on Comic Book Herald right now. If you check out, uh, I'll have links in the show notes here, but if you check out the Absolute Carnage reading order, I've got a Road to that will give you what's happened in Venom, but also there have been these one shots that are spread across, um, you know, these titles like Web of Venom. I guess they all kind of have a Web of Venom typically. Uh, moniker at the front, but then it's like Venom Unleashed, Cult of Carnage, uh, Venom, V-E, apostrophe, N-A-M, which is pretty pretty clever play on words there between Vietnam and, you know, Venom. Um, But yeah, so Absolute Carnage is is developing in those pages. Everything you need to know, it's going to come from that Venom series, okay? So the return of Carnage, like I said, occurs in the pages. What is it a return from? Uh, Carnage has died a lot lately. Uh, the 2000s have not been particularly kind to the monstrous killer, uh, which I think we can all agree is just fine. But in New Avengers, he is ripped in half by the century during the first six-issue arc known as Breakout when Brian Michael Bendis was taking over the title and uh, Dia David Finch on art. Carnage, of course, he recovers. He got better after being ripped in half out in space. He comes back. He has some moments where he takes over a small town in Carnage, USA. Um, he's developing some mind control and kind of cult control during these series in the early 2010s. And uh, he even takes over a bunch of Avengers at this point. Now, Carnage, USA is a miniseries that actually is going to be pretty important to the events of of absolute carnage because it connects the symbiote to a much wider array of the marvel universe than perhaps you would expect you know when we think about 90 symbiotes they are it's this again the symbiote suit is this alien costume that spider-man brought back from the all-time fave of mine uh, or one of my all-time faves, 1984 Secret Wars. And at the time, it's really just a costume thing. Spidey wears the black costume. And then, of course, 
over the course of some of the 80s comics in Spectacular Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, Spidey, and the Black Suit symbiote, it becomes its own narrative that I think many Spider-Man fans are very familiar with. This ultimately builds to Venom, of course, becoming a villain as the symbiote then inhabits Eddie Brock. And then when that symbiote leaks into an open wound of Cletus Cassidy, Eddie Brock's cellmate in prison, the serial killer then becomes Carnage, of course, the most monstrous version of of symbiotes. Um, but actually there's, there's a lot of symbiote stuff that happens here in the pages of venom and the context of carnage, you know, basically trying to find his way through the Marvel universe in the two thousands does play some role in this build to absolute carnage. So his most recent sort of apparent death yet again in space came in the pages of venomized. Uh, you don't necessarily need to have read it, but if you're all in on carnage and venom and really just symbiote stuff in the Marvel U venomized would definitely be something to check out. I would recommend checking out either the venom reading order or the carnage reading order that I very recently have put together over on comic Uh, if you really want to get this full ride through these events, but otherwise venom, the ongoing by Kate and Stegman will give you the background that essentially tells you, uh, yeah, he's been in space a couple times and, uh, it got better, you know, much like the newts in Monty Python. So cult of carnage, uh, we now have basically, he's got some loyal followers who are all in on his really murderous, you know, insanity. And, uh, they bring Cletus Cassidy back. They've got his body. We see in the pages of venom sort of stored in a, um, you know, a stasis chamber and, uh, you know, bringing him back. I'm sure that will end, uh, that'll end well for everybody involved. So, while this is happening, you know, Carnage is being brought back sort of in the background in the early goings of Venom. Uh, but that said, there are major happenings in these pages in the series by Cates and Stegman that are going to be extremely significant for Absolute Carnage. You have things like Null, you have Symbiote Dragons, and you have a God of Symbiotes. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, that's why you read Venom number one through uh, five, is because that's going to develop really the mythology that Cates and Stegman are working on building into the Marvel Universe and expanding essentially what symbiotes are. Symbiotes have gone through a lot of changes in the Marvel Universe, especially this decade. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis, the writer, during his time on Guardians of the Galaxy, did a fair amount with a planet of symbiotes and sort of what is their relationship to, at the time, the, the wearer of Earth's Venom suit, uh, Flash Thompson. Uh, and Cates is, he's kind of changing a lot of that. And he's, he's walking some of that back and he's making it more to do with, um, you know, Null. He's this god of the symbiotes. And, and the refrain throughout the early parts of Venom is God is coming. And it's this giant epic dragon. And it all looks very, very cool. Stegman's working with blacks and reds. And everything just looks like a blood-soaked sky during the events of this, this early comic. Um, so it's all of that is important because although Venom sort of holds off, Null and his quest uh, to you know to destroy Carnage when he is revived gets wind of of this option and of this mythology and he returns he's obsessed with power and with becoming God Carnage wants it for himself and I think one kind of intriguing thread is Carnage has viewed himself as sort of a murderous God uh, for a good long time now um, he's you know he's holds life in his hands it's the only thing that matters to him everything else is absurd. To carnage he he can only see the absurdity of life and and of taking it away and sort of the meaninglessness of that and he finds a, a sort of self-appointed godhood in all of this so venom volume two which is titled the abyss if you're looking at like the trade paperbacks uh it develops this idea of a symbiote codex and essentially what this is is it's telling us that anyone who has worn a symbiote ever in the Marvel Universe, they are eternally connected in some way to a symbiote. It's like it's wrapped around their DNA and it creates this codex. And what happens is the, the build here is basically Carnage is going to go on the hunt for anyone touched by a symbiote because if he can gather this codex and put it together, he can potentially uh, you know, gain the powers of, of the god of symbiotes, of Null. And what this means is, as we see, is this means a lot of characters because a ton of the Marvel Universe now has been touched by a symbiote. It's actually easier to find characters that, um, that have 
born a symbiote at some point than characters who have not because of, again, some of those series like Carnage USA where, you know, various members of the Avengers get controlled. So all of this is building to absolute carnage as he's going to seek to, you know, destroy and and take out vast swaths of the Marvel Universe, both the symbiotes that we are maybe more familiar with, characters like Toxin, um, and characters that obviously we're familiar with for different reasons, like Captain America or Big Ben Grimm the Thing. So this all builds up to, most recently, uh, a fairly confusing free comic book day Amazing Spider-Man issue. Uh, it's by the team of Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman, and it's kind of a lead-in to Absolute Carnage. And it is... It appears to be Eddie Brock going to prison. And this is kind of a jump, although not an you know, inexplicable one, from what we've most recently read in Venom to this point. Um, but it actually turns out, and Cates has verified this on, on Twitter repeatedly because there's been some significant misunderstanding in the coverage of the story. It turns out it is Carnage impersonating Venom. Uh, so all of which is to say the free comic book day issue should be read after the 12 issues of Venom and all the one-shots, again, I've detailed the order in various places on Comic Book Herald. I would most, you know, most check out in the link here the Absolute Carnage wrote to. Um, but this free comic book day is kind of a transition into what's going to happen in Absolute Carnage as he seeks to take out, again, vast swaths of the Marvel Universe that have been connected to the symbiote in his quest for ultimate symbiote godhood. So that, more or less, is the build to Absolute Carnage. I'm quite excited about it because I, while I've never been, I love Carnage's design. You know, it just, it oozes 90s symbiote goodness in the same way that Venom does, except, you know, taken to that more extreme level. And it's kind of goofy, you know, maybe in current state, but it's also, it's just, I love the way he looks. Now, that said, like an event like, for example, Maximum Carnage is not really that good at all it's memorable i think in part because there was a you know a sega game by the same name that was kind of popular in the time and it's sort of in some ways it embodies an era uh that carnage comes from um but you know again throughout the 2000s he's had these mini series he's had these moments um he even had an ongoing in sort of that uh post secret wars landscape i think written by jerry conway so this this one i just kate's and, and stegman are doing something very interesting with venom i have no doubt they're going to do something very interesting with um with carnage and i think above all i appreciate the ambition of this comic and of this team they are not playing it particularly safe they are cutting through big ideas fast, and I think that's going to be to the benefit of the event launching in August 2019. So there you have it. That's the road to absolute carnage. And if you have questions, uh, comments, of course, you can reach out. I am everywhere at Comic Book Herald. Uh, and, of course, go on over to comicbookherald.com to check out not only reading orders related to Carnage comics, but really reading orders for the entirety of the Marvel Universe and, and comics as a whole. So thanks, everybody.